I literally, my camera just died, so we're refilming. Today I'm going to be going and watching it end with us. All cutesy, all cutesy makeup. And then outfit, I'm really not sure. I want to aim to go pinky, like aim to go girly because I feel like that's the vibe of the film or the vibe of the like dress up theme. But in terms of like the actual film, it's quite deep, isn't it? But I've actually watched the, no, I've read the book, so apparently it's not going to be good. Um, anyone who's read the book, apparently it's just not, there's so much missed out, like it's clear it's like a, just a different version of the book. It, we all know the allegations about Miss Blake Lively. Apparently the people that haven't actually read the book have found it like a good film, which would make sense, like they wouldn't have anything to to compare it to but obviously she's had some backlash we've all seen the pregnancy interview we've all seen all the interviews she's done since making the film and I think there's a lot there's a lot to go through here and I do think people that haven't been through stuff you're not always going to find an actor that fits that's been through it it's just it's impossible that's the whole point of an actor. Don't get me wrong. It's not as simple as saying, you are more than your trauma. Because we probably had that 30,000 times. Like, don't get me wrong. I get that she's just trying to be nice and give advice. But it's just, it's clear as day. That she hasn't been through anything along them lines. I mean, we ne you never know. Maybe she has. But I think, I think people are struggling to see her as a good fit for the role because of her reaction. She's just not painted herself well. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing the film because I absolutely adored the, the books of both of them. So I wouldn't be against the day it starts with us. I wouldn't be against it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, it starts with us and I didn't think I would, so. I used the e.l.f. Halo Glow and then I also used the Fresh Face Barry M perfecting concealer with the primark contour i'm only gonna put on like a dab like a dabble that one hasn't got as much of that side i don't think but it's like leaked and it's constantly leaking but i just think everyone has really high expectations of blake because who the fuck's her husband you know i did actually go and watch deadpool versus wolverine and it was sick like if you haven't watched it go watch it if you don't like marvel go watch it like i'm not a marvel person i'm not an action person i'm not Never, never, never. I need a little cutesy and demure. God. God, my skin. It's gonna scrape on camera. In real life, we're, we're, get, we're in a bit of an iffy, iffy stage. I feel like we've got some pimples coming up. I'm not a pimple girl. I'm not an acne girl, so even. I've never been an acne girl. Like, I, all my life, I've never been someone that gets it. I had redness. It's hormonal because it's settled a lot since I was, like, 13. It's, like, redness here. And it's almost like rosacea. That's how I would describe it. But, like, bumpy as well. And I used to have it all around my cheek as well. And I all, I still do get really red really quickly. Like, I'm a very red... You know, like, as soon as that heating's on, I'm like... Poof! Rosy. It's a Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. Very simple, very effective. I cannot complain. This is actually like pre-filmed to, right now it's the 20th of August. So this will go up on the 6th of September or something like actually ridiculous. I don't even know why my brain has been this effective and like this like on it. And I'm like, oh, is she? Honestly though, who am I? Because this has not been the case, ever. I think because I've now got a weekly schedule, I really want to keep on top of it. And I feel like a failure if I don't. So, um, and if I get things in advance, I know it helped me so much. Because when I have an idea, film, 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 film. And then I won't have like, because until my birthday, and then there's going to be probably like, maybe like a birthday haul, Black Friday haul or something like that. And then, obviously then we'll get into December, so it's fine because December's December. But I think um, in terms of like October, I'm I'm obviously going to be shit. <laughs> the only reason I've watched Deadpool is because of my boyfriend. In the last like, month or two, I've gotten a couple messages from people being like, I love your videos, you're really funny and stuff like that. And I'm like, 
it is the oh, it's just the best compliment if someone compliments your personality like it is just top of the top the blush and contour revolution <laughs> palette from god knows how long ago and i used to use another revolution for my contour revolution is it so like traumatic books are <laughs> here in my heart um like the we're all in the same podcast oh, it gives me like just i love it like i absolutely adore it and i've just got mascara on my face like, there's a reason I was going to do psychology at uni. Like, there's a reason, you know? I might end up going along criminology. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm just kind of saying it will all work out. Because it will. Like, everything always works out, um, no matter what. So, I'm kind of trusting the process. Um, I'm trusting, obviously, my social media. That's a massive one. I really need a lip liner. This would have been such a cute look with a lip liner. I don't have a lip liner. I haven't had one for months. I need to get one. It just completes your look. I'm gonna sound like, start sounding like Blake Lyle of you. I romanticize this film too fucking much, but you know, I just wanna look cute. Everyone's going um, Lily Bloom's flower shop. That's a film everyone's doing. I don't, I don't have anything floral. There's a line, right? There's a line between granny and cute, and I don't want to go past the granny line. Is it giving, I'm going to see Edmund's first? Yes it is. Obviously it needs to be brushed out, or like flicked up and down, but the curls are slaying. I really need a curler though, because I hate curling my hair with straighteners. It pisses me off, one, because my hand just gets like burnt from like the air off the straighteners, and two, it makes my hair smell fried look fried feel fried i do not like it i hate my hair feeling the condition that it is it also ma no it makes it feel worse than it is like this is feels really dry and crusty and i just hate that because obviously like products you put on your hair make your hair oily and it's not not nice but we're gonna go get dressed or we could just dress like about a wife that's not okay don't do that um that's what i mean though am i romanticizing it if i dress up girly See, I hate, I hate, hate, hate how baggy this is here. I feel like, imagine it was just tighter, that would look so much more nicely fitted. But I think this is the vibe. I look like a gender reveal, but I think this is the vibe. It's really cute. I feel anything uncomfortable. And I've got new shoes. Yes, I have massive feet. Don't come for me. Like, my feet are just like big feet. I am 5'9", so yes, I have size 8 feet. They're like beige. This doesn't really... No, it does give it justice. They're like beige ones. They're so cute. I always... <clears throat> always rely on one pair of shoes at a time. So in the next couple months, I want to try and buy the Adidas... I don't know if it works... No, the Adidas campuses, either the grey and white or the black and white. I think the grey is what I'm going to go for. Because... I can't keep doing it where I just have one pair of shoes. It's not, it's not healthy. <laughs> I always only have one pair and then I ruin them. Like the ones I had before these, I had since April, 2023, and they are now absolutely gone. I need to chuck them because like the, where this bit is, all in here, it's worn away, around the sides, worn away to the plastic bit. Not comfortable. I'd get a new pair of shoes like once every two years. So, ignore how high up i am hello so it is the next day i will i thought i'd put this clip in here because i really want to review the film because honestly i really think she played it well like besides all the controversy when she's come out and been to all these events and obviously like the premiere and everything I actually love the film. If you've read the book, it very, very closely follows the book. Obviously, there are things that are left out. Like Alyssa not liking flowers, which I loved the twist they put on that. I thought it was so sad when she obviously revealed why she doesn't like flowers. I think Ellen being left out of it is a godsend. I think if they went into that too much, it would have just been a really pointless bit. Very closely related, so if you love the book, you'll love the film. Obviously, people are disappointed, but I honestly thought it was great. Um, I want and it starts with us and I want it to be with the same characters. I teared up so many times. Obviously I think they portrayed the negative aspects really well as well. Like I genuinely think the domestic violence was done really well and portrayed really like 
in a really emotional way and every, a lot of people have gone to that film and cried because they've been through the same thing or they've got their atlas next to them and it's just makes my heart melt that people have gone there with their like new partners knowing what they've been through before let's go back to like real time but yeah i really hope you enjoyed um that was a lot of nothing but i really hope you still enjoyed it and i will see you obviously next friday thank you for all the support my voice thank you for all the support recently because i oh, it just makes me like giddy um yeah thank you for everything and yeah bye before i ramble on too much <laughs>